Hey, Steve Dennis here, and with this video, I'm going to share with you practical steps on how you and I can apply the principles of the law of attraction. Are you ready? Let's grow. Hello, Steve Dennis here, and I'm back with video two on practical techniques for applying universal laws, applying the law of attraction, applying the law of thinking, applying the law of vibration, but today, specifically, the law of attraction. So, real quick, let me, let me give you a, a quick example. In fact, just this morning, I was talking to my daughter, who, her son, my, her, her two sons, my two grandsons, are very unique and very good basketball players. When I'm watching my grandboys play basketball, it's amazing to me how they take that ball and they can go between their legs and behind their back and they can pass the ball. My, my oldest grandson can pass the ball to the guy over here while he's looking over here. I mean, like that Magic Johnson stuff. And it just blows my mind. And then he can take the same ball and, 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 and I, the last game I went to, it, it dawned on me as he was behind the three-point line and took a long shot and made it. Oh my goodness, I got up out of the bleachers and I did my hand like this, you know, just super excited. Okay, but here's, here's my foundational thought. I said to my daughter, I said that when, when kids are playing basketball or, or when anyone is playing any type of sports, basketball, football, baseball, golf, uh, volleyball, all those people are doing, my grandsons included, when they're good at it, all they're doing is working with the laws of gravity. Guess what, my friends? In this studio today, when we came into the studio, there's a total of at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lights that are on. And it takes lighting to help these videos to be more clear and more effective. So what are we doing? When you go to your house or your place of business and turn the light switch on, you are working with the laws of electricity. You can't see them, but you know that they work. You can't see gravity, but a player will use a ball and he's playing with gravity, okay? <laughs> Without a doubt, my grandboys can play with gravity on shooting that basketball 10 times better than I can. I can shoot, not like them, but all of us are still playing with the law of gravity. My introduction to you, my encouragement to you, is working with the law of attraction, working with the law of vibration, working with the law of thinking. And today we're gonna to give you some practical steps on how to do that. The last video, we, let, we left off talking to you about gratitude. I want to continue to re remind you of, of, of really making it a daily practice or at least three times a week to write out your gratitude list and to notice how it creates a new set point because your gratitude gives you a new focus. Let me say that again, okay? <laughs> that your gratitude literally helps you to create a new set point because it also gives you a new focus, okay? So, gratitude is very important. On top of that, I want to encourage you to take notice of your affirmations, the words that are coming out of your mouth. I want to talk to you about the role of your affirmations and how it helps to shape or to reshape your mindset. So for an example, I'm going to give you a couple of things that you can say to yourself that will really help you to stay in a more positive and healthy vibration. Okay, it will help to move you out of that victim's role and more into what I call a victor's role. Okay, here we go. Remind yourself daily of the truth of who you really are. Now, what I'm about to say to you doesn't have a religious bent to it. This is just a universal law. This is who you are no matter who, what your religious background is, okay? So here's the first statement I wanna give you that you can remind yourself of daily of who you are. How about this? I am a child of God. I am a child of creation. Here's another one. I have the capacity to be, do, or, or have Anything that I want, one more time, you need that one. I have the capacity to be, do, or have anything I want. You have the capacity. You have the potential to, hey, this is a new year, my friend. 
you have literally the capacity to live your life at a much higher level than you've ever lived before. Number three, I am a passionate person transforming the lives of many. You can say these to yourself. Here's another one. I am loving and I am lovable. <laughs> Again, just a few affirmations that you can start to incorporate as another way of helping you and I to practically live out this amazing law of attraction. So real quickly, as we get ready to wrap this video up, I want to emphasize to you, again, just another reminder of how important it is to be grateful. Here's a practice that I use in my own personal life. When I wake up in the morning, and I, one of my mentors told me this about 15 years ago, he said, Steve, the most powerful prayer anyone could ever pray, if they, if they never said anything else, is very simply this, thank you. Thank you, two words. When I wake up in the morning and I get up at 58 years old, you, bought, you can about imagine the first place I go at six o'clock. <laughs> My bladder is like, empty me, <laughs> okay? As I'm walking towards the restroom, every time I take a step with my right foot, it's thank my left foot, you. Thank you, thank you. And that literally helps me to create the space and to also create, to, to set the state of my mindset that I want to start my day with gratitude. Because my friend, you and I oftentimes, have you ever had a day where you didn't know exactly what was going to show up? Have you ever had a moment where something un, un, uh, uninvited showed up or something you didn't even plan on, it blindsided you? And if you're not careful, life can throw such a curveball at you that you can find yourself being in, in a having a grudge or even being in grief. All I'm inviting you to do is that gratitude, get this, gratitude helps you and I to remain grounded. And why is that important? Because you are working with the laws, the universal laws of the universe, okay? So here we go as I wrap up. I wanna help you real quickly on how to live in the language of possibility. Real quickly, live in the language of possibility and not in the language of problems. Because it's gonna help you with your mindset as well as uh, setting a new intention every day of your life. Number one, living the language of possibility is simply, number one is simply this, what can I do? What can we do? What can I do today that will make an impact in the lives of people? Number two, I, here's a language of possibility. I choose to. I don't have to, but I choose to. I choose to, do, to go to work today. I choose to be a more effective person today. I choose to be more loving. I choose to have love in my life. I choose to be more grateful today. The number three, not only do I choose to, but I get to. I get to be. I get to be who I was destined to be on this planet at this appointed time. Let me end with a simple story to remind you. It doesn't matter where you came, where you came from. What really matters is where you're going. Why is that important? In my own life, I've had to do a lot of reflection. Reflection time has allowed me to override regret time. And also helped me to be more intentional on choosing to live a life where I can attract a brand new story. My friend, here's my point. Don't look at situations that, try, that come to stop you like your fears and your doubts. They're not stop signs, they're only speed bumps. <laughs> In other words, you can continue to move forward with a language and a life of possibility. I will never forget the time that my mom was so instrumental in using words. In fact, in fact, at one, one talk that I gave a couple of months ago, I called it the value of taming your tongue. And what I simply mean by that is simply this. My mom tamed her tongue when I failed the fourth grade. Instead of using words that would break me down and put me down, she used words that would edify me and build me up. I just knew that that day 
mom was going to really give me a hard time because I had failed the fourth grade. And to my amazing surprise, what she said to me that day, she placed her hand on my shoulder. She said, that's okay, son. She called me baby. She said, you will do better the next time. May I say to you, my mom transitioned in 1995. However, her essence and her spirit is still with me. But can I say to you, my personal private self-talk on a regular, ongoing, daily basis, I remind myself, Steve, baby, you will do better tomorrow than you did today. And the more I say that, the more I think that, the more I feel that, the more I attract that. And so can you. Hey, thank you so much for being a part of this video with me today. And I trust that your life is growing and evolving and evolving as you tap into these practical steps of the law of attraction. Be well.